Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. And just uh, before I go any further, I'd just like to ask you if you could do me a little favour and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd be groovy. If you just go to YouTube, search my name, Jason Newland. And I'm just I'm just trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It's not a particularly popular YouTube channel. Um, I've not been that active on it, although there's lots of lots of uh, recordings and videos and stuff on there uh, from the past. And I share my podcasts on there. But it would just be helpful if you could do that. Thank you very much. Now I'd like you to get yourself nice and comfortable, sitting in a comfortable, supportive chair, or lying down maybe on your bed, sofa, some kind of flat surface. But it doesn't really matter I guess depending on why you're listening if you're listening specifically for the goal of relaxing your body and your mind then sitting or lying down it's all the same really But if you're listening to fall asleep, then maybe lying down on your bed would be more conducive because there's that natural connection with sleeping when we lie down. Although it's very easy to fall asleep listening to my boring voice. Even if you were standing up, which is, of course, not advisable. There's something about the the slower pace of movement, of time, when you listen to me talk. Everything starts to slow down. Including the thoughts in your mind. And your mind itself just starts to gradually... It doesn't have to be instant, but just gradually starting to, it's almost like time is stretching. It's a slower pace to maybe what you're used to in your day-to-day life. It's a slower movement of energy. Very small movements which make up the larger movements which is always the case. And when you move your hand, it might seem like it's one movement, but it's lots of minute different muscles moving in accordance with each other. And 
what happens in this space that we're sharing is we move from that big movement into those smaller movements. Starting to focus on how your body feels, but not just as a whole, not just, oh, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling stressed or tense or I'm feeling relaxed and calm, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling that way. starting to notice that your body begins to present to you small feelings around your body. Small physical sensations in your legs whether pleasurable or not maybe resisting the temptation to label them or to judge them those feelings just thinking them thinking about them as just being neutral just feelings not being particularly concerned but just noticing what your body is telling you Feelings in your arms. Instead of feeling the whole of the arm, maybe notice those individual feelings of all those different muscles and the skin, the hairs of your arms, the all the internal parts of your arms, the veins, the bones, just being aware of maybe your elbow on your right arm has a certain feeling Maybe your left wrist also has its own individual physical sensation. What about your forearm on your right arm? Your right forearm There may not be any particular feeling that you could even give a name to it may not feel like anything other than just a feeling you know it's there. The feelings in your shoulders. Perhaps your shoulders, when you think about them, are kind of almost like they're the same, you know, the same feeling. Almost like your both of your shoulders are just one thing. But of course they're not. And when you 
really focus on your left shoulder and then on your right shoulder maybe you find that you move the muscles a little bit maybe tense the muscles gently noticing the difference in each shoulder your lower back the left side of your lower back and the right side of your lower back of course that connection to your buttocks and to your hips and also moving up into the middle of your back and sometimes like right now actually when I focus on that part when I focused on my buttocks and then I focused on my the middle of my back it almost felt like the muscles in my lower back were being stretched very gently but just stretched a little bit even though I wasn't doing anything to try to stretch your lower back, it just seemed to happen. The feeling of very gently stretching your lower back. Comes along. That feeling. in your chest just noticing what sensations you are experiencing in your chest right now And there's so much of the chest. Obviously there's the collarbone leading to the chest. You've got the chest bone. You've got the muscles in your chest. And of course, if you're female, there's possibly the breasts. If you're male, you've got the different, well mine aren't that different these days but there may be more muscles at the top of the chest but at the side and underneath it's pretty much the same whether you're a man or a woman there's muscles there muscles that stretch out to your back as well as breast tissue which stretches and moves into your back. So just being aware of your chest. Being with whatever feeling there is in your chest and 
I want to notice that I focus on my chest. I feel it in my, my back, my upper back. I mean, I guess the obvious reason would be because, you know, I'm breathing. In. And it stretches my chest and my back at the same time. Yeah, it feels... It feels okay. Doesn't feel... I got a little bit of pain in my right chest. A little bit, not pain, but a little discomfort, maybe stiffness, possibly. I don't know. I notice my shoulders are also wanting to flex for some reason. I think that's probably part of my upper back. That connection between my shoulders and my upper back. Because I can move my shoulders and stretch the muscles in my back. Moving the shoulders backwards or up. Which then moves the, I think it's the scapulas. In your back. It feels quite nice actually. The good thing about this is you can. If you want to. You can just. Flex or. Stimulate the various muscles in your body gently in order to get more of a sense of how they feel. And when you're relaxing, When you do tense a muscle and you let it go and you let it relax, it relaxes way more than it would normally. But you have to feel that you're able to do that. There's no point doing it if there's a uh, an issue with a per part of your body. You need to be gentle with yourself at all times when relaxing deeply. It's important to be kind to yourself. As you notice your mind, how much has your mind slowed down since we started this recording? How calm and peaceful is your mind right now? With nothing to think about and just my voice to listen to because you know the intention Behind this recording is relaxation. 
at the very least, for you to feel more relaxed at the end of the recording than you did at the beginning. At the very least, for your mind to slow down as your body continues to relax. Because that's what you want to happen. That's what you expect to happen. For a relaxation. To fill your body. Maybe calming your mind to the point of boredom when you start maybe to drift away. Almost as if you're moving further away from your body and your mind. Just leaving that there. Kind of like in a, an escape pod in a spaceship, a movie space movie, you know, when they get into that little pod and it sends them <laughs> far away from the spaceship. Safe to dream. Continue to relax. So.